looking at the MX Linux 23.1. So this is a fresh point release. So here is the boot menu. So let's uh, quickly boot it in a live boot. Before that, let's uh, check out some of the options below, which is uh, F2 for language selection. I'm choosing the English United States. You can choose any languages available here. And F3 for time zone. I'm choosing the Los Angeles. You can choose anything you want. F4 for options. F5 for persist. F6 for failsafe. And F7 for console. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot, which is a MX Linux 23.1, uh, which is released October 15th, 2023. So I forgot to mention that I'm running it on a virtualization which is a VMware with 60 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5-1240p. So here is the desktop and here is the welcome screen. As you can see the version says MX Linux 23.1 and the desktop uh, environment is a XFC version 4.18.1 and it is supported until June 2028 and the base it is based on a Debian version 12.2 bookworm so let's close this thing and uh, let's open the system monitor or the task manager first so I'm going to show all the new features uh, after the uh, showing all the task manager so right now it's almost like a 1 GB uh, in the beginning of the video or when we started it's a uh, 1.0 GB or 1 GB and the CPU is almost around like uh, below 25% and the process running right now are 284 so this is the base uh, system monitor or a task manager so let me change the display resolution first let's go to system settings display let's change the resolution my monitor is 1920 into 1080 let me change that keep this configuration i'm going to put the uh, task manager at the right side corner so you can see all the changes uh, throughout the video so let me change this also so let's first uh, go to the uh, firefox web browser and uh, let me show you all the new features uh, in the MX Linux 23.1 Librito. So here is our browser. Let's check the version of the Firefox browser first. So the version you get is a 118.0.2. So this is a point to update. So let's uh, type in some important information like uh, about support. So here is some of the information if you want to check this out you can pause the video or you can uh, change the playback speed to 0.25 to see all the information or you can just pause the video and uh, read everything. So this is the, some of the important information only if you need it. So if you don't want you can just skip the uh, skip this part. So this is the all the information. So let's uh, go to their official website so this is the blog and this is the official website so this is the official website you can directly uh, type in this url in your search bar to go to their website or you just uh, uh, type in like a mx linux in the your search engine whether it's a google or dr go you can just type in mx linux or you can directly type this url so here is the uh, information or the release uh, notes of the mx linux 23.1 librito or you can directly go to the blog and you can get the information or you go to the news so let's uh, click on here by clicking on read more So it's uh, MX Linux 23.1 as you can see if you are running uh, MX Linux 23 there is no need to reinstall packages so you know already how to do all these things so highlights include uh, it's uh, based on Debian 12.2 bookworm base 
it's based on debian 12.2 which i already showed in the beginning and they have like a new and updated applications some highlight include so these are all the uh, new uh, things or the new features uh, which has uh, linux kernel updated firmware and mesa libraries fluxbox ahs xfce so these are all the new things you can just directly go to the website or just uh, pause the video here and read everything if you want so this is the xfce desktop environment you have like a 32 bit 64 bit and uh, with kernel 6.1 and 6.5 and this is a kde plasma desktop with a 64 bit uh, with the standard 6.1 uh, kernel and this is the flux box which has a 32 bit and 64 bit with a 6.1 kernel so here are the torrent uh, torrent links here are the bugs any specific bugs with the mx linux uh, mx applications can go to our bug manager at uh, here so this is the complete information if you want to read it uh, you can just read it here so in order to download you just need to click on some of the uh, links here whatever you choose i'm choosing the 64 bit xfce ahs with the debian 6.5 kernel you can choose any other uh, things or you can just uh, click on someone like this it will take you directly to the sourceforge website and it takes like a five to six seconds and uh, your download will be started if you have like any download manager you should be getting on the download manager if you have like a browser you will be uh, downloaded in your browser so here is the download the file size is around like a 2.1 gb so let's close this thing we got all the information so let's uh, close the browser let's open the uh, terminal which is xfc terminal Let's get some of the distro information. Let me type in, let's first check the terminal information, which is 1.0.4, the version of the terminal. Let's type in INXI. Let me try to change the background so you can properly see. Let me load the presets, which is a black and white. So let me try to make this uh, proper. The pointer doesn't properly work. I don't know why. In all the Linux distro, it's a problem to drag, drag it down. As you can see, I got it. So let's type in another terminal or the another command which is inxi dash small b. So my CPU is uh, i5 which I already mentioned in the beginning of the video. The inxi version is a uh, 3.3.26. I'm using a 60 GB of hard disk and the kernel which I downloaded the ISO was a 6.1. As you can see there is also 6.5 available which is a ahs version so you can download that or you can download the 6.1 kernel uh, whatever you want to choose under the system it says as a host mx linux and the kernel 6.1 and the desktop environment is a xfce 4.18.1 in the distro it says as a mx linux 23.1 64 bit librito and the release date is october 15 2023 and under machine it says as a vmware because i'm running it on my vmware so cpu is this is the cpu information so this is the graphic information display is a x11 server is a x arch version 1.21.1.7 1 and vm wgfx version is a 2.20.0 and opengl version is a 4.3 mesa is a 22.3.6 so this is my display resolution already mentioned that too so storage already mentioned process 
process running right now are 269 and the memory is almost like a 1.25 GB of 4 GB of RAM INXI version already mentioned so let's uh, type in another command which is INXI dash capital G so here is some of the information if you want to read it you can pause the video so let's type in cat forward slash etc forward slash issue like this hit enter so here is the information i think uh, i hope it uh, you can see properly here which is mx linux 23.1 libretto 64 bit uh, powered by debian so that was uh, here it's uh, yellow color i don't uh, I don't know whether you can see it or not because the color is yellow properly I hope you can see that so let's type in neofetch now here is the neofetch information and let me type in another command which is inxi sv 8 hit enter so this command will uh, completely grab the distro information all the information like a uh, bluetooth all the things so let's uh, see all the information here is the system information which i already mentioned here is the machine information here is the memory information pci slots cpu all the information is here here is the vulnerabilities here is the graphics information display monitor these are all the information and here is the audio information the pipe wire version is a 0.3.65 and elsa version is a k6.1.0-13 so here is the network information Here is the Bluetooth information, Bluetooth drives, partition swap. All the information is here. Here is the USB information, sensor, repos. And here are all the process information and information is here of process all things. So let's type in desktop now. You can just pause the video and uh, read it on your own to get all the information. So NeoFetch and Hestop is almost uh, pre-installed so no need to install it. So here is the Hestop for some of the viewers who want to see Hestop. So I think we got complete information of the distro so let's close the terminal we don't need it. So installer you know how to install the MX Linux already. So this is the installer to install the MX Linux 23.1 on your hard disk or a virtual disk whatever you can choose. So I am not going to show that because you already know that. Let's check the some of the desktop features like a panel information. Let's see the properties of the panel. Again same nothing change here. Same as the older version also. So here are some of the customization if you want you can customize all the things. Let's check out the uh, desktop wallpapers. So these are all the wallpapers you are getting with uh, 23 and uh, 23.1 same wallpapers so there is nothing new added here. So these are some cool new wallpapers which were available in the 23.23 uh, version. So let's keep this wallpaper and here is the menu here are the icons all the same things nothing changed here let's close it let's open like a 10 to 12 apps and uh, see whether it crashes or not like always in every of my video i'll open all these applications 
to see whether it crashes or not so let's open some random uh, applications like a feather pad Vini under the graphics let's open library of straw internet thunderbird so it is taking a bit of time here to open so it is normal because we are opening uh, at once so it takes a bit of time there let's open uh, vlc media player multimedia let's open uh, elsa mixer let's open mail reader let's open about xfce office it we already opened the library so let's open qpdf view orange calendar I think we opened like uh, 7 to 8 apps, I guess, maybe 10 also. Let's open document scanner. I think I opened the document scanner already. Let's open document scanner. Development, we don't need anything. Under the accessories, we have nothing here. So. I think I already opened the file manager so no need to open that again internet already opened graphics games we don't need any games development multimedia let's open strawberry under system we have anything here Snaptic package manager the password is uh, DEMO all the small letters let's get back to the uh, task manager and see how much of resources it's consuming so the cp is almost uh, it's not stable but it is almost like a 75 percent 80 percent and the ram is almost like a 2.3 gb of a 3.8 gb of opening all these apps almost uh, 12 apps i guess so these are all the processes running right now it's almost uh, 285 284 so let's put it on the right side corner so let's check out all the information or about the applications information about Snaptic package manager the version is a 0 0.91.3 so the installed version and the latest version will be uh, beside uh, the uh, packages so the installed packages will be highlighted with a tick mark as you can see like this so let me scroll it down fast so you can see all the things so if you want to see it in a slow-mo you can change the playback speed so you can see properly all the packages so that was Snaptic package manager. Let me close this thing. Let's quit it. About Qt, it's a 5.15.8. Let's check the version of the application. It's a 1.0.20 about strawberry. Let me close this thing also. Document scanner version 42.5. So there is nothing new the already the release notes have been uh, released so that's all the new changes i am opening just to see whether it crashes or not so that's the reason i opened like a 10 to 12 apps so it's pretty stable but it is taking a bit of time so it is normal because we opened the all the applications instantly or maybe continuously so that's the reason it's uh, taking a bit of time there so there is no lag or something like that maybe light or uh, slightly uh, a sluggishness uh, while choosing or uh, while switching to the applications but other than that everything is going good so about thunderbird 115.3.1 so let's check about the vlc media player which is a 3.0.18 
let's even close it two not file manager which is a 4.18.4 so let's close this thing also terminal let's close it feather pad 1.4.1 LibreOffice, the version should be 7.4, it says as a 7.4. Let's check the version. 7.4.7.2, uh, this is the version. Here is some of the information. If you want, you can read it. Let's quit the application. Here is the Genie. Here is complete information, which is 1.38 version. I think we covered everything I guess no updates available MX updated version is here so everything is same which I already uh, made a video of uh, MX Linux 23 so there is nothing new uh, the new changes were already uh, released in the official website as a release note so I already showed that also so there is nothing left here to show so at the end of the video this is all the uh, process and the uh, system resources which is almost like a 1.4 gb and the cpu is around below 50 percent and process running right now are 265 so i think that's the end of the video i guess uh, so if you want to check other video because i'll be posting two videos daily so i already posted another video in my channel so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see in tomorrow's video peace out so this is the logout screen uh, the password is uh, demo as the username so you need to type in uh, demo to login so this is all the login screen as you can see so i think that's it so let me end the video here. Peace out.